Hi, this is Charlie Aitken of Simply Socionomics. Socionomics is the study of the collective social mood via the lens of a nation's major stock index. It demonstrates that social mood influences social actions, such as those found in the economy, financial markets, politics, and so much more. Not the perceived belief that social actions lead social mood. Whilst encouraging you to visit the Socionomics Institute website, where you can access a myriad of superb analysis of economic, monetary and cultural topics by the best in the forecasting business, the purpose of Simply Socionomics is to do just that. Simplify it as an introduction and to allow you to profit and benefit from the studies and observations. The human race naturally, heard, think music, movies and fashion for example. They also act logically when it comes to non-financial transactions, such as buy one get one free. You've heard it and probably said it yourself, that's too expensive, I'll wait until the price comes down. Not so when it comes to financial matters such as buying and selling a share or a house. The higher prices go, the more people buy and vice versa. That is not logical. Why is that? Whereas there is no doubting the price of say a can of beans, it is what it is. There is uncertainty when it comes to the price of a share, a currency rate or the price of a house. Therefore, subconsciously, humans herd and follow the leader, the expert and each other. I'm not picking on the private investor here, as it applies to most professional investors also. The study of financial markets, and in particular the main stock indices, provides a wonderful barometer of the collective social mood. Higher infers rising optimism whilst lower observes a more pessimistic society. Furthermore, as stock indices are fractal in nature, meaning they repeat the same pattern over all degrees of time be it minutes and or decades, they offer a fair degree of predictability. It's not only the financial markets and house prices but life in general, such as politics, taxes, population growth and the propensity towards war or pandemics, to name but a few. This example from the Socionomics Institute in 2009 predicted the decriminalization of marijuana, which was a great call for investors to ride the impending bull market in marijuana stocks. As already stated, mood governs events not the other way round and can be seen within this chart. It shows the most watched stock index on the planet, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Dow, in both nominal terms, the black line, and in real terms, the red line. The Dow in real terms strips out the debt inflation of the past 40 plus years and in particular the last decade, when American debt has accumulated by as much as the previous combined 200 plus years since the American Constitution was founded. If you have any doubts as to the rationale of comparing nominal against real, and positive social mood versus negative, then just take a glance at a selection of the positive and negative traits observed by Robert Prechter in his groundbreaking classic, Pioneering Studies in Socionomics, and then pause to reflect on the events of the past year and the past decade come to that. Linear extrapolation is natural for human beings, but it's wrong. Everything in life is fractal in nature or cyclical, including pandemics and climate change, the two big issues of today. We take on these and many other issues, presenting the facts over the fiction, by way of charts, as charts do not lie when presented and analyzed correctly. Our knowledge-sharing overviews have included financial markets, house prices, central bank decisions and elections to name a few. Plus predictions for the Cameron and Theresa May UK elections, the 2017 attempts to impeach the Donald and the socionomic observations of the Shanghai Composite against new share accounts. Join us for a guide to the future by observing from the past.